parachute. must have landed somewhere near here. If you're sure you're all right, I'll look for him. Oh, of course I am. I'll walk over to the road. Okay. Town, mister. Well, sure. Hop in. Must report to the moon. Rob, calling Reddick. Rob, calling Reddick. Rob, calling Reddick. Come in, Krog. I have to report another failure, Your Excellency. We were unable to capture Commando Cody and hold him for ransom. And you still have no funds? No, sir. And until we can get a ray gun into action again, we are unable to continue our campaign against Earth's defenses. Listen carefully, Croc. I cannot have my preparations for invading the Earth delayed by such a minor detail as obtaining a small amount of money. If the men you now have cannot accomplish this simple mission, then hire someone who can produce results. This is an order. I understand, Your Excellency. It's up to you to decide whether you can still be useful to us or... Uh... We'll figure something out. Remember that payroll job Duke was trying to get you in on? Maybe he'll still go through with it. Well? It's risky, but it might work. It's the Western Wholesale Supply Company. They keep their payroll in the office safe every Friday night. There's a man in the office who knows the combination. It's a cop. 
up. Get going. Pull up, men, in the black sedan. They took the turn to the right. Finally got a break. They called me down to the jail hospital to see if I could identify a prisoner. And he turned out to be one of those two who've been making all the trouble for us. Well, how did they catch him? Well, he and another man staged a payroll robbery. The police went after them and the car crashed. The other man was killed, but our pal was only banged up a little. What did you find out about him? His name's Graber. He's an ex-convict, out on parole from the bank robbery sentence. Well, what about his connection with the invaders from the moon? I haven't had a chance to find out yet. There were too many people around the jail hospital, so Henderson asked me not to question him there. We might be overheard. But aren't they going to try to find out something? Yes. They're going to move him under guard to a private sanitarium, where we can question him without any danger of the story leaking out and throwing the whole country into a panic. When'll that be? Probably this afternoon. Henderson is going to let me know as soon as they make arrangements for having him transferred. I'd like you to go with me, Ted. Sure. I got some news about Graber. A friend of mine's a trustee in the jail hospital, and he tipped me off they're moving Graber out in an ambulance this afternoon. Is there anything we can do about it? Yeah, I got it all figured out. Now, my friend told me which road the ambulance is taking, and I'll... country. Go on. What about the driver? I sent him hiking. You should have slugged him. As soon as he gets to a phone, he'll have the cops on our trail. Uh, it's okay. There's a car parked a few miles up the road to pick you up. Okay, let's go. you got here, the cops are after you already. What? Yeah, it's coming over the radio right now. Calling all cars, calling all cars. The stolen ambulance was last reported turning on to the east end of Harrison Canyon Highway. I told you you should have slugged that driver. Calling police headquarters. Calling police headquarters. It's Cody. Police headquarters, come in. This is Commando Cody. I picked up your broadcast, and I'm just turning into the west end of Harrison Canyon now. If I meet the ambulance, I'll stop it for you. We'll get some men up there as soon as we can. That's a bad break. What's he doing out here? Probably on his way to third-degree me. I'll go back to town with you, Sam. 
You keep going with the ambulance until you can ditch it. If you meet Cody first, smash him. Right. We'll meet them on the road. We've got a good chance to. 